What's up guys, it's Dumpster Marcus. We have a lot of work to do today. We have a clean out, we have to pick up some scrap. So let's get the day started. All right, I didn't film it, uh, but I went to my buddy's house. I got this Blackstone uh, grill. It's in decent shape, but there's a lot of rust on it. I was thinking about keeping it, but I'm probably just gonna scrap it. Or I'm gonna see if I could sell some parts. Maybe the knobs and stuff are worth some money. But I got that from him. I got this, it has to be 65 inch. Yeah, 65. 65 inch LG TV. Uh, he said he was moving his ladder. This was in his basement and he hit the side and it cracked the screen. So I wanna see if TVs are worth parting out anymore. I remember when, uh, Flat screens just came too. You're talking three, four thousand dollars for a TV, and now like you could get a, this LG 65-inch smart TV for like, you know, six, seven hundred bucks. So, I remember selling parts to TVs, and you're 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 selling parts like the little motherboard, the little power supply board, you know, for over a hundred dollars. So, so I'm gonna take this back off, look up the part numbers on the motherboard and stuff and see if you could actually make some money off flat screen TV still. Most motherboards or whatever, you know, look at these little things. Look at the little stickers on here and here. It would have a couple numbers, so just type in, this is probably the part number. And on this one, that one is probably the part number. So I'm just gonna type in this TV, which you take it off. There's the model number of the TV. So you just type in LG and type in that number and something's gonna pop up. So let's see how much they're worth. All right, he said this TV was a year old. So it's fairly new, but you know, the parts don't sell much. Uh, only one of these sold for $30 free shipping. And one of these sold for $35 free shipping. So with shipping, it's going to be at least, you know, say 12 bucks. So 20 with the eBay thing. So I'll probably make like 15 bucks each with the eBay fees and shipping. So 30 bucks is 30 bucks. But you know, how long is it going to sit? Because only one sold for an eBay shows the last 90 days of sold histories. So... You know, I'll throw it up, just to throw it up. But uh, yeah, this is LG, so it's a good name brand. And 15 bucks. I remember they used to sell for like hundreds of bucks. But you know, TVs are so cheap nowadays. So I'm just gonna take all this plastic off the TV and scrap the TV and chuck the plastic in the garbage. So, oh well. The only thing I have to actually trash is the actual screen. It's really thin. I'm going to the dump one day anyway, so I'll just throw that away. And that, that's just all metal. The homeowner's in the house. Just all that, charging 300 bucks. sweating uh, I'm all done I have to go to the dump first I didn't really feel much because cleaning inside uh, she was right there and you know we were talking back and forth the whole time it is one o'clock I was here since 11 so two hours and I have to go to the dump then I have to get cast from school then I have to go back for that huge load of scrap and a lot of stuff that I'm going to donate or try to sell because it's a lot of nice stuff. So let's go see how much uh, the dump is. Uh, I'm going to, she paid me 350. I asked for three. Uh, I got this job 
because of my one realtor friend that I bought my house from, my first house, so like 14 years ago, 15 years ago. Uh, so I got the job from him and so I gave him like a good deal for the homeowner, but she gave me 350. I asked for 300, she said, you did a great job, here's 350. So uh, great, two hours of work. Uh, it was it was hard work. I was definitely sweating, but uh, it's not bad. And I'll get that that heater. I think it's filled with copper and aluminum uh, fin and stuff like that. We have to take it apart. I barely got that out of the garage. But uh, yeah, let's get this done. For smelling really really bad, at least the view is really nice. Look at that. You can see the whole five towns from here because there's Scranton. There's Troop, uh, Dixon City's over there. It's really nice out. I'm like 12th in line, so, yep. I put the camera in the back seat of my truck because at the scrapyard I usually put it on top of my truck but I don't think you're allowed to film in here because it says no use of cell phones on premises so maybe they just don't want you on your phone I don't know but that's the dump it stinks you're standing on trash throwing your trash out of your trailer and truck so yeah it's nice your car smells for at least three days afterwards. It smells like a sewer. <laughs> One cool thing about the dump is they have this washer. Uh, it like sprays at your tires and underneath your vehicle to get all the mud and dirt. It shoots up from the bottom and the sides. See it? Cool, huh? All right, I weighed 1,580 pounds. I had to pay $81.37. I was close, I figured 90 bucks. So 81 bucks, nice. Now let's see how much money I can make off the scrap. Yeah, this thing definitely weighs like 400 pounds. I got the bed of my truck filled up with like Christmas stuff. This is all cardboard, I gotta take the recycling center. And then we have all this scrap metal, so. I don't even know what this is. It's a furnace? The thing weighs like, well, I'll make it lighter. Look in here. That's all copper and aluminum. It literally, I wish it said how much it weighs. Volts, amps, blah, blah, blah. It literally weighs like 400 pounds. I can't even, I only can move it like this down the hill. I could get a dolly under it, but I can't tilt it back to like use the dolly. It's too heavy. And I can't back the trailer up far because my bumper hits the ground here because the driveway is too steep. So this is fun. I got this nice ladder. So at least I could sell that for, you know, probably 40, 50 bucks. I just gotta get rid of these tires. I got this broom. Driveway coder broom. All right, I came home. I didn't want to fill the trailer up too much because literally that thing 
I never moved anything so heavy in my life. Like that was so heavy. I, literally four or 500 pounds, it has to be. I don't know what's in it. Maybe it's like a radiator inside because there's copper aluminum fin there. I don't know on the bottom if it's like, you know, a radiator, but man, so heavy. But I didn't want to overload my trailer. And in the bed of my truck, it's all like really nice stuff. Like if I can't sell it on eBay, I'm going to sell it on uh, like a yard sale. There's all, there's a full nativity set, like a nice nativity set. This huge box right here that takes up the eight foot bed is the nativity set. And like there's all Christmas stuff. There's all like nice stuff. I don't know what they did, but there's 35 rolls of scotch tape. But we got some more scrap in here, like these lights. They're not like in great shape, but there's copper and there's brass. And there's brass inside these. See the brass? And there's brass in the bottoms. But there's a lot of nice stuff, like... See, there's like part of the nativity set. So hopefully I can make a bunch of money from this. Right? Yeah. So I'm gonna take all this in the garage and I have to go back and get the rest of the stuff. There's like cardboard and more metal, but I just couldn't fit it. And I didn't want to put any more metal in that trailer because it was heavy, heavy, heavy. All right, came back, got the rest of the stuff. Good thing for this net from Harbor Freight because there's a lot of cardboard. That thing weighs like 50 pounds. So I saved a lot of money from the dump actually trying to recycle stuff because that's a lot of weight but i got this cool ladder so let's go home all right it's the next day i just dropped the cardboard off at the recycling center so let's start with this all this is copper see that big copper pipe i got copper wire the copper pipe goes all the way into here into that connector which goes into there and it looks like it's copper in there too there's copper here that looks like it's copper aluminum fin so we got to take everything that we can apart and see what's in here <laughs> loose that's like inside there it's stuck on something that's all copper all right up top I got this off there's a big a motor in here and a big fan up top and I can't really see down in there but there's copper right there so that means copper is running through this whole thing let's take out more bolts we just sold something on this shelf we have three of these washer or dryer boards this one sold so I'll just show you what I sold today so I sold this which is part of the 30 day competition. I sold this for 50 bucks plus shipping or something like that. What did I sell this for? I sold it for $60 plus shipping. So after eBay fees and everything, I made $49.75. So boop, add that to the total. And I sold this, I bought this for five bucks at a yard sale, sold it for 30 bucks plus shipping. Audi part sold this for $50 and Cadillac part sold this for 30 bucks. This is like the door module that makes the door uh, and the locks and the windows work. I got the panels off. Look at that motor, whatever it is, pump. It says Freon condenser, but look how big this is. That's my hand. <laughs> this stuff is huge. All this is pure, huge copper tubing. 
I'm pulling on a copper too. Copper, brass, this thing, I don't know what's inside of it, so we still have to take that apart, but I have a size 12 shoe, and it takes up half of it, so that's huge. Then we have the copper bearing motor, we have all this copper tube, which is up to my chest. We have what's ever in this box. <laughs> the box is really heavy, so we have to open that up. Huge copper aluminum fin with a bunch of copper on the top and I'll throw in the copper in here we have all this copper copper tubing and a bunch of thick it's Romex thick Romex wire so sweet I sell stuff on eBay and I sell stuff mostly every day and I talk to the mail lady every day so you know what you have to tell everybody you scrap because I'm going to her house right now and getting a bunch of scrap I'm not gonna really film because you know she's gonna be right there I'm gonna help her take stuff out of her garage stuff she wants to get rid of so I'll just show you the stuff when I get home she said oh come down I have a couple things for you if you're thinking about my trailer I got <laughs> literally the whole bed of my truck filled and I got some cool signs and everything. Kentucky Cardinal apples and I got a couple other old signs. I got some, you know, there's copper, nails, 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 chains, ramps, a whole bunch of like, I got this cool cart I took. It's like plastic. It's about five feet long. A cool cart I could put stuff on and like roll inside the garage and stuff. And one thing, this Craftsman table saw. It's perfectly good working condition. I turned it on and everything. She's like, I think this works. And her husband's like, turn it on, see if it works. And it did. So, sweet, I'm keeping that. I have a nice table saw, but I think this one's a little nicer. So yeah, sweet. Make sure you tell everybody you scrap. Sort it through everything, big junk pile. Some heavy metal, actually. I got this cool sickle. Uh, some brass. Big rod of copper. Another rod, copper and brass. Look at this. It's like a huge pot filled with very thick brass. Some, there's some copper pipe in here, but 90% of it is this thick brass piping. Like, look at all of it. They got all little pieces and I think it's filled. That probably weighs 20 pounds. And then I got one, two, three buckets of nails in these two big bins of like miscellaneous whatnot stuff. So sweet. I still got a couple little things that to take apart. All this is heavy metal. I can't fit this grill. Maybe I can't. I just, I just don't. I'm not bringing the tires. I have that chair I gotta take apart. But my trailer is filled up. I can throw the grill right on top of there just to get rid of it. But yeah, the bed of my truck is filled to the top. Trailer's filled. A lot of weight. Let's go to the scrapyard. Okay, I weighed 2,000 pounds. The price went down another $5 a gross ton. So it's only $150 a gross ton. We started this challenge, it was $190 a gross ton. So $133.93. And that isn't everything. Uh, from the post office lady, I got a bunch of brass 
and copper and whatnot. And from the clean out, I got that huge furnace with that copper motor on the bottom, the copper aluminum fin, and some other copper and stuff that I'm gonna keep. So at the end of the challenge, we're gonna cash all that in and see how much we make. Okay, and here's what I kept from the clean out. <laughs> this huge six foot box is a nativity set. And it comes with all these nativity set animals. I looked up the uh, maker and just this donkey sells for $75. And I have hopefully all of them. In this box, I have some angels like playing the trumpet or whatever. Uh, and all these boxes are filled with different figures. And I looked on eBay and like Mary, Joseph, and little Jesus in the cradle sells for 150 plus shipping. The three wise men sell for $350. I have like this bull, which sells for 75. That donkey sells for 75. So if I have everything and there's 13 boxes here, so hopefully I do, you know, I can make like a thousand dollars profit. Like that's crazy. And I kept this uh, Mercedes hubcap. I have to look up what model it goes to and see how much that would sell for. And this nice, uh, it has some wear, but for a wall hanger, uh, this fell off, but it doesn't have the Mercedes, you know, emblem there. But this grill is probably from, you know, a 70s at least. And I got some other like little knickknacks like Christmas stuff and a bunch of bags. And yeah, that's from that cleanup. Do, 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 do. Guess who sold this ladder? This guy. Let's go deliver it for 50 bucks. What's in my back seat and front seat? That whole nativity set. I have it on eBay. Someone bought it. I drove two hours away from my house because in the eBay listing for local pickup only, because I'm not shipping all this porcelain. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes in this nativity set that takes up my whole back seat. So I drove two hours away, a hundred miles. Hopefully he's here soon and he already bought it. He already paid for it. So just waiting on him. All right, truck's empty. Just got home, pretty pumped up. I had to wait two hours there. The guy was running late. He was coming from two and a half hours away. I came from two hours away and he got stuck in traffic. So. Oh well, so to compensate me for waiting there for so long, he gave me more money. He gave me $120. He said, go have dinner on him. And I sold the stuff for $999.95. So a thousand bucks. eBay takes around, I think it was $131. Um, so it took me a half a tank of gas to get there. So like 45 bucks in gas but I got it for free, which is crazy. Fun fact, he said there's only 50 of them made, like a full set. So they're pretty rare. That's probably why they go for so much money. And he said he's becoming a priest. He's in school right now to be a priest. And he said he always wanted one of these sets and one finally popped up. So he drove the two and a half hours to buy it. I drove two hours to meet him. So pretty sweet. So hopefully you guys enjoying this. 30 days challenge. And this is a pretty big win for the challenge. A thousand bucks. Woo. Thank you guys for watching so, so much. I appreciate you guys watching. Please comment below. I like to interact with everybody. Uh, check my eBay store down there and my Teespring and whatnot. So thanks for watching. Go out and have a scrapping good night.